Welcome back, another Set Like Off-Road School riding tip. And today, we'll take a step back. We're gonna talk about dual sport riding, uh, entry-level enduro riders, adventure bike riders, and we're gonna cover the basic techniques needed to really go out and explore the world on these sort of bikes. A lot of riders that come to our training uh, have a street riding background or no motorcycle background at all. They buy an adventure bike, they buy a dual sport bike to go out there and explore and it is hard for them to really enjoy the riding and have fun without mastering the basics. So today we're going to go over the three basics that are really needed. We're going to talk about standing up on your bike, we're going to talk about sitting position when you're making a turn and then eventually we're going to talk about opening up your chest, bringing your elbows up to really keep your dual sport bike, your enduro bike or adventure bike under full control. So riding tip number one, you have to stand up when you start riding off road. A lot of riders have that fear that they're losing the bike or it's going to drag them behind when they start standing up. It's a little bit harder to keep your balance. but you can avoid all of that if you really grip the bike with your legs. So you want to make sure that as you're standing up, you really grip the bike with your cuffs and your knees, you're leaning forward. So now when you're getting on the gas, you have the bike tight. If you open up your legs and you get on the gas, the bike's on its own. It's just going to jump out on you. You're going to lose balance. You're back here and it's just going to throw you off the back. So make sure you stand up. You ride on the balls of your feet, you really hold the bike tight with your legs, you lean in. Now when you're getting on the gas, it just brings your legs in tighter, you're in full control, and that's how you control your bike off-road. It is so important for new riders to master this technique of standing up and controlling your motorcycle with your legs. As you can see in some of these clips and some of the other riding tips, it makes everything so much easier when you're standing up and you can control the bike from the top. So that is riding technique number one that we really tell new riders to really focus on because it will make a massive difference in your riding. Riding tip number two, and that will help you a lot when you're turning, is to sit in the front of your bike when you're making a turn. We'll see it all the time when we have groups out for trail rides and enduro trainings. Uh, people sitting far back on their bike and then trying to make a turn, and the front end just keeps pushing and pushing and pushing. You can see it even on a bike stand. When I'm moving from the front of the bike to the back, the front end lifts up. And it is the same thing when you're trying to make a turn. So now you're sitting way back, the front end's really light and it's not gonna turn. It's just gonna keep pushing. So you wanna make sure you sit in the front of the bike and again, your legs are tight with your shrouds. When your inside leg comes off, when you're making a right turn, you wanna make sure your leg comes up and doesn't just go out. You control the bike with your legs. So you wanna make sure you lose your legs tight on the shroud to direct the bike, to let you know where you want to go. So now you're sitting up front, inside legs up, your outside legs putting pressure on your shroud, so you're di directing the bike. You have grip on your front end, and now the bike will actually turn. So it's really easy for you to twist the bars in a little bit, get on top of the bike, the bike will turn, and as you exit the turn, you know, you can slide back a little bit, and then transition into your standing up position. The weight transfer of sitting in the front of the bike when you're trying to make a turn is so important, uh, especially when you ride bigger adventure bikes, bigger dual sport bikes on tighter trails. You have to be able to make tight turns and step number one is what we just talked about, sitting in the front of the bike and bringing your weight forward. Riding tip number three is a very simple one, but it's a really important one. You want to make sure that when you're making the turn, when you're sitting, you get your elbows up. We see riders all the time in our classes with sitting down, the elbows tucked in and you're stuck on your torso. So now you're riding like this, you're trying to make a turn, your front end hits a rock or it starts to slide out. 
you can't react you're stuck in this position it makes everything really wobbly and, and hard to control so you want to make sure especially when you're turning to sit in front of the bike and bring your elbows up now you have all this room to work with so if you're losing the front end you're here to react you're not stuck down here on your torso you open your chest up and you're able to control the bike from the top This is it for another SOS riding tip and today the basics of dual sport riding, enduro riding, trail riding. So if you are out there and you just bought a dirt bike just to have fun and we hear that all the time as oh, I don't need training because I just want to ride for fun. It will make your riding experience a lot more fun if you master these basic techniques. If you can control the bike with your legs, if you can sit up front, if you can bring your elbows up. Um, you're going to have more fun, you're going to be safer and you'll just enjoy everything so much more. Uh, please like and subscribe. Every Wednesday we're posting new riding tips, motocross, dual sport and dual riding tips and bike reviews. So stay up to date with the channel and we'll see you next Wednesday.